Next, we're going to ex expand each sum and going to write each expression as sigma notation. So we're going to talk about sigma notation. So this is sig sigma notation. So this is the formula for a series. So it is read as the summation of i over x plus i from 2 to 5. Ibig sabihin galing sa 2 hanggang sa 5. The values of i are galing sa 2 hanggang sa 5. For this one, the summation of 3 to the negative i from negative 1 to 2. Ibig sabihin the values of i are from negative 1 to 2. So summation, ibig sabihin plus plus series. Kasi it's, it is a series so therefore there's an addition. So first one, ang i mauna daw sa 2 hanggang sa 5. So, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang first natin, ang i, palitan mo lahat ng 2 kasi that's the first value of i. So, 2x plus 2 plus. Sunod niyan is, sunod na value is 3, 4, 5. So, kasi hang, from 2 daw hanggang sa 5. So, plus, kasi summation, plus 3, x plus 3. Ang i, palitan mo ng 3. Plus, ang i, palitan mo ng 4. 4 plus over x plus 4. Plus, hanggang pinakalast is 5. This is the last value. So, 5 over x plus 5. So, that's how it is. That's how it is to expand. So, this one. So, ang First is, ang pinakaunang value is negative 1. So, negative 3 to the negative, ang i, palitan mo ng negative 1. So, that's the first value, negative 1. Plus, 3, negative, ang i, palitan mo ng sunod sa i. That's 0. Sunod 1, sunod 2. And that's the last value kasi from negative 1 to 2. 0. Plus, 3 to the negative 1 plus 3 to the negative 2. So, this is the expansion of this sigma notation. Next naman, we're going to write, kablik tala nito, vice versa. Instead of the given ito, we're going to find this. Given ito, we're going to find this. So, write this expression in sigma notation. So, when n is equal, or i is equal to 1, 1. Kapag ang i is 2, because this is the first term, second term, fourth, fifth. So, kung i is equal to 2, 2 siya, diba? So, kung i is equal to 3, ka third siya, 3. Kung i is 4, 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang value dito, pwede mo siyang palitan ng i. So, the formula is i lang. Kasi, na ba, summation of i, tapos ang i nag-start sa 1 patungong 5. Kasi kung ang i, ibig sabihin, yun siya, value niya. So, kung, na ba, kung 1, 1, kung 2 na, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, kung 2 na, 2 lang, kung 3, 3, Kung 4, 4, kung 5, 5. So, this is the, the summation notation or the sigma notation. Next, dito naman, ang first term, so i is equals to 1. Let's have it 1. So, magiging x minus 2. So, anong palagay mo? What's the relationship ng 1? Saan dyan? Saan mo gagamitin ang 1 dyan? Kung i is equals to 2, Magiging x minus 4. So, saan mo gagamitin ng 2? What's the purpose of 2? When i is equal to 3, nagiging x minus 6. When i, tapos dot, 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 dot. When i is equal to blank, alamin natin kung saan. Anong ending? x minus 12. As you notice, dito 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So, ganun siguro ang pattern. So, kung magiging x minus 2. Always use this one. So, magiging times ka ng 1. Dito, x minus 2 times ka ng 2. Dito, 3. 3. At 
if you notice, itong i-times mo sa 2, yun siya ang i. So, what you're going to do is palitan mo lang siya ng i. So, this is now the formula. So, summation of x minus 2i, i is from 1 until, kailan to siya? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It is in the 6th to galing from 1 to 6. So this is now the sigma notation.